This parking lot got real noisy here this morning. And I shouldn't have slept so close to Emmy because, well, it's not even four o'clock in the morning and I'm gonna move. And her head is right there. I feel really bad right now. Normally I park away from her. Okay, we're gonna move so we're not sitting here idling right behind her. time again buddy it's that time again it's the magic box of treats oh this one looks like a small door number three number three uh -huh. <laughs> um you're sitting on some parts bro he's like i don't care i'll sit on anything to get treats what's in this one? Oh, that looks like fun hey you're spoiled rotten buddy Little ones. These little ones. Can I get it? Um. Unleash the goods. <laughs> it's three days out of the advent calendar. Don't tell Cruz, but it's actually four days. Because we weren't at the shop yesterday. Okay, where's the fourth? Crazy can have this one too today. We'll give him those ones later. Today we're working on that ambulance and I definitely have rust on my mind. Only the front section here is metal. The rest of it is all fiberglass except for the frame underneath. But we're doing some undercoating stuff, internal under, let me show you. I have a product here called Eastwood Frame Coating. So it converts rust, encapsulates it, and seals it on the internal rust frame surfaces and or anywhere you can shove this thing into any little crack. Are we, are we gonna put that in the crack? No, we're gonna put that in the crack. <laughs> it attaches to the top there and then you can shove that little tiny pipe into anywhere you can get it into converting and encapsulating that rust, protecting the underside of that thing, also protecting some of the rust repair that we just finished doing, like right here on these rocker panels. Even though I primed those rocker panels from the backside before they were welded on there, but there's a lot of stuff going on in back there that I couldn't reach. Well, there's areas all around here that we can shove that little nozzle in and soak all of this down to help keep that looking pretty for years to come. I have high hopes for this product. I was online, the reviews look great. These guys have an amazing YouTube channel with tons of videos on how to uh, just do bodywork and paint. So let's give this a try. The first tip I found online was to heat this hose until it is completely straight. So we're gonna use the, uh, the heater over here to do that. Because right now, if you were to stick this into any of the chassis holes, it would just go in and curl up. So they say to just heat it until she stays straight. And then on the end here, it has multiple different holes in it. So it sprays in like a spray pattern, coating the inside of the frame. I was excited to find this product online because there's a lot of places where we welded in the new flooring that I couldn't get underneath the, there's a channel on the body itself, which when I was pulling up that rotted floor down in that channel, you could see that it was rusting along that channel too as well. So this is great for me to be able to feed that hose all the way back through there and hopefully get some rust protection in it. 
They say this stuff is incredibly runny and it's gonna drip out all over the place. <clears throat> but here we go. I got the plastic down, the light on, so let's give this a try. So in here, the ambulance company used to have this electrical box in there and they chopped at this, but in there it looks really good. But up there where I rotted the floor, it doesn't look so nice. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this channel first so I can get a feel for it, feed it down there and just drag it all the way back while spraying it and see what kind of coverage we're getting. We might have to do a couple of passes at a few different angles, but we're gonna use this one as the test channel. Instructions say uh, shake this until the ball kind of bounces around freely or until your arm gets sore, whatever comes first. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> ah! Darn it! Oh yeah, that stuff is super watery. Ah, I gotta get a rag. happy with that that covered really well that's just one straight pass see if we can get in there with a the camera that is pretty good that is, look at that up in every crack that's one pass it's missing a little bit right here on the front one pass through so I think if we went through doing a couple of passes, we would cover all of that. <laughs> oh, that stuff works awesome. So taking a look from down here, I can put these things in all of these holes all the way through there, fill in all of these cavities here with that stuff. And down here, I can get in there, fill this hole whole bottom rocker with this stuff it'll probably drip out everywhere that's possible but yeah that's the point of this stuff is to get it up inside of everything just to keep that keep that rust at bay last thing i want to do is to see this ambulance rust on me i've already been through that in my van but yeah so we're gonna wedge it through everywhere we can that uh that we can't paint with a rust encapsulator on the outside These are definitely the kind of projects that I wish I had another camera person, someone to take these shots for me so I don't always have to worry about stopping, grabbing the camera and moving this shot. Another camera guy would be pretty awesome right now. Okay. It's a little, it's a little messy there when it's coming out, but I, I plan on painting everything underneath here anyway, so I'm not really that worried about it. All over my face, I can feel it, maybe through my hair. Uh, this stuff's definitely very messy. This stuff is what causes rust. There's foam in here. Foam holds water, water causes rust. Just a huge chunk of it in here. I think this had to have been put in here by the ambulance company. This is where the Ford Econoline body meets the ambulance shell. Yeah, this is the stuff that causes rust. 
They're gonna take all that foam out of there, man. That's just a bad idea. And if I look at the other side too, this is where the rocker rusted. This is something everybody should do to their vans when they buy them. Get underneath it, pull everything out and do rust prevention. Trust me, man. I have been fighting with so much rust on my van since I bought it. Oh, the huge chunk. Taking these little steps at the beginning is just a great idea. All right, got that piece out. Look at you, big boy. You coming out too? Oh yeah, come on. Come on, big boy. Whoa, yeah, come on, big boy. Once all these insides are all done, I'm gonna grind down this stuff as much as I can and there'll be a rust encapsulator paint uh, brushed on all of this stuff too, just to kind of give it some protection. Well, you got an older vehicle like this, it's, uh, it's gonna have some rust for sure. But as you guys can tell, that stuff you spray in there gets everywhere. It's oozing out of all these areas. So you know it's protected even between the piece I put on and the back piece as well. That is awesome. You can see it up there, all the green coming through. I'm excited. This stuff makes me feel better that I'm starting up this ambulance build with some protection. I need a camera guy. I'm not making that kind of YouTube money yet where I can afford a camera guy, but it's a pretty good idea. They're good. We're stripping everywhere. Oh, I can't. Well, I'm covered in it. Get this all over me. <laughs> I don't want to see my face. <laughs> we uh, we covered in paint, baby. Uh, it took one whole can to do that rocker, but I definitely got it very, very good. How we doing? Uh, uh. There. I just about ate a piece. There's some spots up here too. The frame on these E350s are boxed in the front all the way down to just past there before it goes into like a C channel all the way back. So we're gonna spray the inside of all of this stuff here as well. Might as well protect it all from the inside out just like the can says. I forgot that I got these new mics, so we're gonna attach this to me, and hopefully you guys will be able to hear me better if I'm babbling from over there. All right, mic check one, two. Everything looks good. Okay, gloves, mask. Where's my mask now? I don't know where my mask went. So I've seen a pile of videos online that say it's a good idea to to tape over things, otherwise this stuff's gonna come out, but I'm not sure because, well, maybe I will. So there's a few places over here I might put tape over those holes just so it doesn't get on like some of these suspension parts. I plasticed over most of it, but I am gonna tape over a few of these. When I was watching the tutorials, the tutorial videos online on how to do this. They were going quite overboard on this, but for me, because this frame's getting painted anyway, I'm just gonna do a basic cover. Okay, not really worried about anything up here. I might cover up a few of these. Just so it doesn't drip on that. Otherwise, I think we're, we're good to go. We're gonna start bombing from the back, work our way forward. We're gonna do these ones from uh, from the side down here first. So I'm not sure if this is doing any good. 
because I can't see inside of these channels. But if you can tell there on the top, there's little holes all over the place. It's uh, pretty hard to tell if you're getting this or not. Okay. Oh. You guys probably couldn't hear me at all with my, with my mask and stuff on, but uh, that is so cool to know that I have rust protection from the frame outwards on this thing. So by the time it's done, hopefully it'll last me my own lifetime for sure. But wow, does that ever feel good to know that the inside of the frame all the way back to where the frame right here, right about there is where the frame opens up into like a C channel, but it's all enclosed from here forward. And all of it is coated. <laughs> awesome. How's the uh, portable mic doing? Um, yeah, man, that is, that is just so cool. <laughs> so now this side is all done. Now we're gonna move over and do this side. All right, I'm gonna lay down some plastic wrap on the other side as well too. All right, I lay down some plastic wrap here so I don't get everything all over the floor. There should do it. And we're gonna use this one over top of all the suspension stuff and the front axle. All right, this side's a little bit different. There's a lot of stuff in the way on this side. That's gonna be a little bit harder to wrap plastic around. Oh, perfect. And we just need to get our little, little floor creeper and a light. I think we're good here. I brought the chisel over with me too, just in case we run into more foam on this side. I worry when I'm using a microphone like this. I worry because I always worry, I'm like, is it still recording? Um, right on the front of my camera, there's a little meter. Take a look. You see that? That's the microphone input thing. So it reads my voice. <laughs> it's pretty cool. But I'm worried about it not picking me up. So just say I'm like doing something and talking to you guys away from seeing where my phone's at. Okay, where are we going here? Oh, we're getting some more of this stuff. Uh, so far, I'm pretty impressed with this stuff. Their website did say um, like three or four of these should do an entire chassis. I say that's false. Mind you, I'm the kind of guy that would rather go overkill than not do enough and then be in trouble later. So maybe that's my fault for going super heavy on this stuff, but I figured, you know, go hard or go home. Some of the videos I watched online from other people uh, talking about this product, they hated this part. They were like, this is such a bad part of the product. And you know, it, it works. A little bit of heat strains this thing out and I've had no problems with it at all. But you have to reheat a new one with every single can because the ends of these, once this dries, is gonna get all clogged up. Ugh, what I need actually is a microphone on the inside of one of these masks. Hey, that way when I put it on, you guys can hear me. Okay, I need a light. I know making videos like this one, talking about like rust prevention and stuff, is not a video that people like to click on, but uh, 
people just don't understand when they're looking at, you know, weekend camper vanning or, or living in one full time. They don't realize that, you know, it's like the same thing as having a sticks and bricks home. Except for this one, it's rust that eats away at it. You don't got to worry about moisture and rot and water leaks and stuff like that from outside soaking into all the wood and wrecking the drywall. Uh, in a vehicle, rust is your, is your enemy. So taking care of this stuff at the beginning is it's just kind of just smart stuff. And that's where, that's where I failed on my van. I only address things as they happened instead of taking my home from the beginning and just digging at it and... Uh, doing all that rust preventative maintenance from the beginning. The engine is all masked up, ready for paint. That's gonna be happening very, very soon. And I'm really happy with the progress that I've made on this ambulance. The rockers are in, floors are welded. Oh, you haven't seen this yet. So. I completely sanded down this whole floor. All it needs now is a vacuum, a full blown paint prep wipe down, and then all this will be done in an epoxy primer, good and thick so no moisture can penetrate through and go back and touch these floors whatsoever from the top side. And that's what causes the rotted floors on each side is from the wet boots, from the snow and stuff like that coming in, the water drips down off, gets, in underneath and pulls down here and just stays there and rots your floor. So I'm doing a super thick epoxy uh, primer down here and then we're gonna top coat it super thick. Yeah man, this thing's gonna, <laughs> I'm doing this thing right. And it feels really, really good to take on some of that rust protection. Whoa, my camera, <laughs> look at my camera. Look at the green stuff all over my camera. Speaking of that, it's all over me too. Look it, it's on my arm, my sleeve, all over me. Like for real, look at it. <laughs> it's on my skin down here too. Man, <laughs> I'm a mess. Oh, it's on my, is that a, what is that on my forehead? Oh, I got a cut on my forehead. Oh, I got that paint here. It's still there. Oh, it's on my nose. <laughs> ah! Feels nice. Next up on the list, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this next or not, um, is to grind down the frame and get all the inside stuff here all painted up nice and black, mm, looking all good. Then we need to do the uh, sound deadening stuff in here and also a layer of, what's that stuff called? The heat, heat shielding stuff all throughout there. And I still need to do this box over here. Oh, does that floor ever look good? <laughs> Duh, amazing. And we need to do this box here. I'm gonna have to um, grind out some of this stuff. That's the ambulance company that did that. Clean up some of this in here. I bought myself a metal bender, which should be in in a few days. So we can bend a piece that goes from here down and bend out gonna weld it in there, seal up that hole, run some seam sealer on the inside because I can get in here from the back. Um, after it's all welded too, I'm gonna seam seal the front as well. We're also running some seam sealer on the welds here just to kind of protect everything. And then, uh, yeah, epoxy primer in here as well. That'll be all clean. And then I'm doing all the framework on the bottom as well. So that rust protection, I'm not just stopping at doing the inside. I wanna do the entire underbody. So, the in, so I will start with painting the frame in here because this needs to be done in order for that engine to go back in. And then after the necessary stuff is done, like I'll probably paint what I can see here and uh, maybe stop right where the suspension starts because if we do end up doing any changes to the suspension work, when this stuff comes in, I can get all of the rest of that stuff done. But I will be doing an, a rust encapsulator paint on the entire frame of this whole ambulance. For the reason that I have very minimal metal on this thing that can rust because it's 90% fiberglass. Okay, 75% fiberglass. 
I don't have to worry about that stuff like I do on my van. So that's why I wanna take all the time I can right now to make sure all the metal is protected right and done right. That um, frame stuff that I got, that you put the little hose in that I was using today, you can do it in here. Pop these things off and just spray it up and spray it down all inside of these. You can do it just about anywhere that there's a hole, including in the bottom of the doors here. So down here in the bottom of the doors, they're really prone for rusting and stuff like that. So once these door panels come off, I'll take a look down in the bottom and we'll spray all the inside of the doors as well. And if there's any grommets, is there one in there? Oh, there is too. Any grommets you can find, anything like this, pop them out and spray that green inner stuff everywhere. Um, I may also do it on the inside down here, places where I seem it seems to rust. I may actually just get in here and spray it down in all these corners down there, because as you can tell, it is a little bit rusty. I'll do that all over. Anywhere I can fit that stuff, we're gonna put it in there and just protect it. This home better not ever rust on me, I'll tell you that for sure. But if you are buying your own van and you're out there or you just happen to may have just bought one, try to take some of these small little steps now because you don't need to cut anything open to do what I did today uh, about putting that stuff in your, in your frame or in your doors or in your bottom rockers or in your back rocker panels. If you look underneath your van, lie underneath there and you look right up underneath behind here. All the way along your van, you'll find these little rubber grommets. Pop those rubber grommets out, stick the little spray stuff in there and spray it all down. Make sure it's got no gunk, no nothing in there. Just put your fingers in there. If there's mud and stuff in there, you gotta get that stuff out. It's the mud that sits there and gets wet or if there's some foam in there for whatever reason, that stuff gets in there, it gets wet, it stays wet and that's when it starts to rust. Another thing too, I put this in a video a long time ago, this is a monster piece of advice. If you're buying a van of any kind, before you build it out, get down deep in those cavities on the inside of the vehicle, dig way, 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 way down there and make sure that there is not even a single screw hidden down there because if someone's ever moved anything in there, if anything gets knocked down the inside of the wall, it slides down. It's a, my, 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 this is a bad example because it's not here, happening in here. But you'll knock something down in here and it'll fall down in the outside body, get wedged way down to the bottom and one simple screw down there can rot your whole panel out. All it takes is the screw to rust. That rust then transfers over to the body and before you know it, it eats its way all the way down through the inside and then, uh, then you got a big problem. But anyway guys, Hopefully you learned a little something about, about uh, rust in this video. Mr. Cruzy, we got to say goodbye to everybody. I want to talk in the microphone. Look at it. There's a microphone. <laughs> That's a microphone, buddy. Hi, bro. He's smelling me like I smell bad. I probably smell bad. Hey, hey, we had a productive day. What did you do? Oh, you're outside sleeping in the van. You're outside sleeping in the van. He didn't want to come inside at all today. He was in here for probably two hours and that was the end of it. <laughs> hey bud, I think we're, we're done for the day. We're done. All right, everybody, thanks for watching and uh, you guys like my new mic? Um, it's been kind of nice to have some freedom to run around without my camera in my hand all the time and uh, capture a little bit of audio. Thanks for watching you guys and maybe soon we'll be throwing some lime green paint on that thing. The paint has Hey, crazy. <laughs> the paint still hasn't come in yet. We're still waiting for that. <sighs> and I got to build a paint booth in here. I'm building a paint booth, for real, seriously. I'm gonna take the section here and I'm gonna build a paint booth. I bought piles of plastic. Plastic sheeting, because we, we building a paint booth. <laughs>